Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about find a linear equation. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. And we're going to start off with this video with a definition, the slope of a line. The slope of a line, m, represents the change in y over the change in x, given two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, the following formula determines the slope of a line containing these points. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's go find the slope um, given two points. So let's go to the first one here. We're given two points, 2 and minus 1, and negative 5 comma 3. All right? So let's go label which one's point 1, point 2. So x1, y1 here, x2, y2 here. You've done this before, pretty easy for a recap. So our slope here is uh, y2, which is 3, minus y1, minus 1, over x2, minus 5, minus x1, which is 2. That simplifies. 3 minus a negative 1 is like plus a positive 1, and we have a 4 here. 5 minus 2 is a minus um, 7. And so our slope here is just a negative 4 sevenths. Not too bad. Okay? So we know, now know how to find the slope between two points. So what about identifying the slope and y-intercept given uh, an equation? So let's try that with number 9. Let's say I was given this equation. y equals negative 3 fourths x minus 4. And we want to find the slope and y-intercept. Well, this right here is what we call slope-intercept form, okay? We have y equals mx plus b. m is our slope here, so this thing right here, m equals a negative 3 fourths, that's a slope within this equation. Our y-intercept here is at minus 4, so our y-intercept is equal to a minus 4. And now we have found our slope and y-intercept of this line given that line. All right. Now there's other ways that you will see equations of lines, and one of them besides slope-intercept form is the point-slope form. And the formula is this, the point-slope formula. Given one point and the slope, the point-slope formula will lead to the equation of a line y minus y1 equals m times, in parentheses, x minus x1. So let's do an example with that. Number 10. All right, so we're going to find the equation of a line given the slope and one point. Well, we have the slope here they give us as a negative 3. And the point is 4, 8. So that's our point and we have our slope. So our slope, our point slope form, pretty easy there, okay? We can use the formula. So they tell us it's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so, well, y1 is this 8 value, so we have y minus the y value given to us at that point, 8, equals my slope, negative 3, times x minus x1, 4. All right? Now let's rewrite this into slope-intercept form. How do we do that? Basically, just get y by itself and try to find the m value and b value. So we can distribute this minus 3 to both parts here. So we have y minus 8 equals minus 3 times x is a minus 3x, and the minus 3 times a minus 4, double negative, multiplied to positive, plus 12. We want to bring the 8 over to the right, so we add an 8 to both sides, and hopefully you can see this is shaping up to be a good slope-intercept form. y equals a negative 3x, and then 12 plus 8 is 20. And there we have our slope-intercept form, y equals negative 3x plus 20. Okay. Huh. So many steps here. All right, let me go erase this and we'll get to another problem. All right, so number 11 here. They're telling us here that we want to find the equation of line passing through the points 3, comma 4, and 
0, negative 3. And we want to write the final equation in slope intercept form. Okay? Well, a few things. We have to uh, com uh, combine everything that we've learned already. We have a slope, or we have points, we can find the slope. So let's do that first. So m equals y2 minus y1, y2, negative 3, minus y1, 4, over x2, 0, minus x1, 3. Simplify that. Negative 3 minus 4 is a negative 7, over 0 minus 3, which is a minus 3. Simplify that out some more. Two negatives makes it a positive, so we have positive 7 thirds, and that is our slope. So if you remember before, we knew the point, so the point slope formula, okay? And we have a slope, but we have two points here. Well, which one do we need to pick? Well, in reality, you can pick both. It really doesn't matter. We can pick this one or this one. Either one will get us to the answer that we need, okay? So why don't, I always like dealing with zeros if I can, so I'm going to pick this one. Okay, so let's go try that. What was our point slope formula? Well, that was y minus y1, and we'll pick this point here. So y1 is a negative 3, equals our slope 7 thirds times x minus x1, we chose this point, which is 0. Now watch this. y minus a negative 3 is y plus a 3, right? Two negatives make positive. Distribute the 7 thirds of both parts here. 7 thirds times x is 7 thirds x. But 7 thirds times the minus 0 is just 0. We don't need to write that. So lastly, we just need to subtract a 3 to both sides. And we have y by itself already. 7 thirds x minus 3. And there we have our equation in slope intercept form. y equals 7 thirds x minus 3. If you had done this with this first point, you would have got the same exact answer. Okay? So that's pretty cool. You can choose whatever point you want. Alright, now standard form form of a line is written like this. AX plus BY equals C. We're kind of going through all the forms here. So what we want to do is given for number 12 Find the equation of a line and writing it in standard form. That's our goal here, okay? We have a line with slope of a negative 6, and we know it goes to the point 1 fourth comma negative 2, okay? And we'll write the equation in standard form, okay? Well, let's use our point-slope formula and then see if we can convert to standard form. So point-slope formula, again, y minus y1, which is negative 2 here, is equal to our slope, negative 6, times x minus x1, 1 fourth. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is kind of simplify what I can. Minus a negative 2 is like plus a positive. So y plus 2 here. All right? Now distribute the minus 6 to both parts. Minus 6x, not too bad. Minus 6 to a minus 1 fourth is a positive, and that comes out to be 3 halves when you simplify it. Okay? So now, what do we need to do? Well, I don't want to have a denominator, a rational uh, fraction there, right? So I'm going to multiply both sides here actually by 2. And that gives me here 2y plus 2 times 2, which is 4. And distribute the 2 over here, negative 6 times 2, or 6x times 2, is a negative 12x. All right? And then now the one has to kind of cancel there, and we're left with just a plus 3. All right? So now we want to bring our x's over our variables to the left and our numbers to the right to look like this in our standard form. So I'm going to add a 12x to both sides. And so I have a 12x, well, I guess, put it over there. Let me rewrite that. One second. Got ahead of myself here. Okay. So we want to add a 12x over here, and then we're going to subtract a 4 to this, uh, both sides here. So now we have 12x plus a 2y here equals 3 plus a negative 4 is a minus 1. And now we have our answer here in standard form. 12x plus 2y equals a negative 
1. Okay? So let me go erase and we'll get through another problem here. So now we have another problem here, and this one's going to be tricky. And it's going to involve horizontal or vertical lines. So we want to find the equation or line passing through these given points. 1, negative 3, and 1, comma, 4. Okay? Well, first thing, sometimes students just go hop in and they start trying to find the slope here, and then they're going to get confused. Okay? And what they're noticing here is we, put, we have the same x value here. x is 1, x is 1 here, but this one says negative 3 and positive 4. So what would that look like, let's say, on a graph? Let's make a quick graph here, a quick sketch. Okay? And if 1's right here, so that's where 1 is, and we have a positive 1, 2, 3, 4, that's a point. 1, comma, 4 right here, and the other one is 1, comma, negative 3. 1, 2, 3, we have minus 3 down here. And that's the point. 1, comma, negative 3. And you're looking at this, and you're thinking, well, what kind of line does that? It's a, a vertical line, right? A vertical line goes through. This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. And that's a vertical line. So when we see that, well, what is the equation of a vertical line? And those are written as x equals just the x value, which is 1. Okay? So this equation of line is just x equals 1. 1. If it was a horizontal line, you would see it as y equals whatever your number is. Okay, so if it's a horizontal line, it's y equals that number. In a sense, it has a slope of 0. So 0x plus b, or whatever that number is. But we don't write this 0x. So horizontal, li um, horizontal lines have a, a slope of 0, while vertical lines have an undefined slope. Vertical lines are written as x equals the number. Horizontal lines are written as y equals the number it passes through, the y value passes through. So now, you've done a lot of practice here of linear equations. I hope you learned something. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math. Minute math, minute math. When you need help, you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com.